I'm going to be giving you a very simple, easy to understand Bitcoin technical analysis. I'll be going through the current trades, the upcoming trades, and how we can be trading this each step of the way. So I hope that you really enjoy this video, you learn a lot from it, and you are prepared for what is to come next uh, in a nice, simple breakdown. So let's get down to business, let's get into the charts, and let's get into these trades. So uh, if you followed along from the last video that I made at the end of last week, this was, of course, talking you through live in the time why I had just longed Bitcoin for this reason. At the point Go over of making that video was $9 underwater while we were trading at around 63900 Well, today we are trading at $66,000. So obviously this trade ended very nicely indeed. And so what I'm going to be explaining next is from this long that we were in, are we still actually looking for continuation to the upside or after hitting, which was for me a major, major target zone, 67,500. Of course, we made our way through ever so slightly towards an upper daily, okay? But is this zone of around 67,500 to 60, let's say $69,000, $68,000, is this zone of resistance too big? And will we be looking for this local now market structure with lower highs and lower lows to continue downwards? Or actually, are we looking for a failed auction off of the latest low for the rise to the upside? Well, let me explain this in a very simple way. So yes, we have of course hit this 67,500 zone and we've got a little bit of a pullback. So what can we use to examine these charts? And again, it's all about probabilities. First thing that I'd be looking at here is understanding that we have two ranges in play. First of all, the more local range off of the wick from Sunday up until the high on Sunday on Monday night. Okay, we have this more local range to be looking at where we can see a bit of a failed auction of this range low. So naturally, after the failed auction, this range low, with today having a CCV target at and around the middle of the channel, we would be looking for next the highest probability of a rise to the upside. And from that rise to the upside, what I'll be showing you is this fixed range pull, okay, and reminding you of the local CCV target that we have. So that is sat really simply at the previous day value area high. So you can see that comes in at $67,370. Well, then we look at the middle of the channel, 67,160, and the point of control there, 67,313. So I think it's safe to say with the liquidity above Tuesday, we have a big, big, big target zone coming in here now. And have a guess what that sits towards. The old target from last week of 67,500. So we have a nice like $400 zone here of what I would class as key resistance within this local range. And what I will do is bring it one step backwards. And the local range, I'm going to make more into a medium term time frame range, taking it from the low of the consolidation from the 15th of um, July, okay? So the Monday back here. This gives then us a bigger range to be looking at, okay? Within this bigger range, we have this absolutely, for me anyway, it's sat on a few weekly naked point of controls, few key uh, weekly naked point of controls on the CC Fibonacci taken from the low of the start of my range up to the top of the range. That gives us this lovely CC Fibonacci retracement. So intraday, yes, we are looking for a rise next. Why? Well, we got the activation of the CCV setup. We've formed a local failed auction. That does give us the probability of higher to come next. But then we have the medium term time frame, which with this local downtrend market structure is giving a bigger pull to the downside when we look at the fixed range of not just the local range, but we extend that onto the bigger range on the medium term time frame that we're looking at. Here we can see the that the point of control is still coming in at the same level, by the way, of our local range. So point of controls are the same. But the value area low, look at this, coming in at the local um, Fibonacci CC on the value area low, on the weekly naked point of control. So with the daily just below it for a little bit of extra support, should we get a larger wick? So what I would be looking at in terms of what I feel is the highest probability would be for this local rise, for a continuation to the downside drop, okay? At this drop, I think is a very big level of support where of course we can look once again to buy the dip, very key level of support. But what I will always, what I teach and what I practice, what I preach, right, uh, is trade the reaction. So what we would be looking for upon tapping the CCV target of today on and around this point of control zone is one of two things. 
we will be looking for a move up to this level, alerts coming off, check the reaction, which means monitoring the order flow. We would have to come here on a lower term time frame and look at the order flow and make an informed decision of really simply one of two things. Do we get acceptance above that point of control, thus looking for continuation today? I would give it 48 hours up to around the daily, once again, up that value area high at 68,200 now. Or scenario two, we come up to this high, we get a clear, lovely rejection, even better if we have that on high positive delta with open interest increases, okay? And we get that bearish reaction at that level. That, I will say, doesn't necessarily mean we get a full reversal down to these lows, but it would be step number one for activation of a short trade well, we would be at the very least, if this happens today, looking to take it down into the VWAP. Okay, so the VWAP, of course, during the course of today is going to be making its way to the upside. VWAP is currently support, right? So if we can get this move to hit that CCV target with a bearish reaction, it will activate a short, but that could just be to the VWAP intraday for then continuation to the upside. So you can understand why I hope. I did say fairly simple at the start of this video. I know it's a little bit complex, a little bit complex, but not too difficult. I don't think if you've, uh, you know, you've ever studied our content, fairly simple theories there of how we are judging the probabilities going off of local failed auctions with CCV targets into high levels of resistance where we check the reaction to make an informed decision of do we scalp a short there or do we continue in longs simply with a reclaim of the point of control looking for higher okay next level would be of course the daily on the value area high above us then we're heading towards $70,000 OK, so that would be my perspective of what I feel the highest probabilities and how I am trading this. Um, and I will give you an update on the conservative trading account that I'm trading. This account, by the way, since we opened it back at the end of May, is still on a 100 percent win rate. That is now just a very nice, healthy PL curve. Uh, so the long that I did take on this stream, I've uh, now hit another take profit for locking in another hundred dollars here. So, you know, it just goes to show when you trade the charts, and I will always say this, trading the highest probability trades. OK, so you remain patient. You wait for those gold and amazing opportunities. You take them with full confidence. Again, uh, how many people do you see showing their trades while it's still at entry, putting it out there publicly for everybody to see? You know, a lot of people will wait for it to play out, show you the results. But I came in here, I showed you exactly what I'm looking at. They've, you know, laid out the whole plan on a conservative trading account, which has got 100% win rate. You know, if I had got that wrong, we'd have dropped, would have took the first loss. No hiding away from that. You know, I'm here being fully honest, transparent, showing you everything about this. And, um, you know, it just goes to show what I'm saying here is when you do wait for the best trades, when you understand probabilities, OK, when you have that level of patience, well, I'll always say this is not really a realistic thing. But hey, you could achieve 100% win rate because, well, the evidence is in front of you. Right? I've shown you all the trades, everything that I've done here on this account, the way I've built this up has, has really been very, very nice indeed. Right. So, you know, it is possible. And well, the evidence is in front of you. If you want to learn how I'm doing this, if you want to see a live trading stream from myself tonight, that means I've come on stream, take the trades, talk you through the price action during the power hour tonight. That's between 8 to 9 p.m. UK time. We got the power hour live trading tonight, which you can join me on. And tomorrow I'm doing a dedicated altcoin stream. So I'll go through all of the altcoins and find setups on these gems of alt setups that we have right now so if you want to see some live trading if you want to see a dedicated altcoin stream head over to chartchampions.com tonight is myself and igor on the power hour and uh yeah you can get in on the live trading on the education of course and uh you know learn how to do this every step of the way from you know people that are out here proving their results so yeah hope you've enjoyed hope you've understood this and uh yeah if you want to see more you know what to do hit that like button leave a nice comment down below and i'll be here motivated and uh back bringing you the the goods so cheers everybody hope you enjoyed that call from the last video if you do hit that like button even harder thank you ever so much and uh yeah i'll see you over in the live stream tonight for the champions cheers everybody thank you and it's me signing out goodbye